The organization was actually founded as the Philadelphia Tennis Patriots in 1952. We started down the street in Manioc uh, at an old warehouse, four tennis courts on like a carpet surface. In the early 80s, Arthur Ashe came to the center and gave us the opportunity to use his name. In 2006, we were blessed uh, with an endowment from one of our donors of $7 million to come to and build this beautiful facility. We call it a campus. And now we're Legacy Youth Tennis and Education and we are still inspired by the life of Arthur Ashe. Legacy is about people and community. We're dedicated to serving the kids from the neighborhoods and to providing them with the ability to learn tennis and take it to wherever they want to take it. But we take great pride in having a kid from start all the way to finish, not just because of the impact that we can have on that child from a tennis perspective, but more importantly, the impact that we can have on them from a people perspective, making them a good young man or woman. It's what we call a legacy kid. Um, this program is very important. I mean, it has taught them some life lesson skills and teach them how to be disciplined and teach them how to be focused and how to be a team player, most importantly. So it has really been very instrumental in our family and the values we teach them. I've been at Legacy since I was three years old. Now I'm 13 years old. I can't imagine going to any other training center. This is great. It's, I can't take it for granted. We have a, a, a positive cycle. Uh, we've got kids who start off in that program, in our neighborhood-based program, uh, spend a little bit of time in our center-based program, do really wonderful things, go off to college or in high school, and then come back and want to be instructors. It was really tough on me when I was younger and not having my father around and, and coming here, it just, it, not to sound cliche, but it just really made me forget about it. And now I'm on a scholarship at North Carolina A&T um, as Division One. We have a program called Goodstein Junior Leaders, um, which is our youth leadership initiative. They've been to Haiti to help build a school after the earthquake. They just went to Israel this past summer as a part of a cultural exchange. It's a coexistence program with, uh, with Jews, with Muslims, with Christians and they even fundraised about $40,000 to pay for 10-day exchanges in each country. Well, here, tennis is more like, yeah, you're learning to play, but you also learn social skills and discipline, and it helps you like throughout life. As long as they're advancing, they have basic fundamentals, and we can keep our arms wrapped around them until they go off to college and beyond, then we've done our job.